In today's Google My Business SEO Tips video, I'm going to share with you Google My Business product and service stacking along with my product and service stack site mirroring technique. Now, if you're already implementing this type of strategy, I know you're already seeing the benefits, but if you're not, I have a lot to show you in today's SEO tips video, so let's not waste any time. But before I get into this video, about 13 days ago, I made a, a, made a Google My Business video showcasing this particular business. Now, this particular company is going for movers, quad cities, and we were sitting in position six. Now, after implementing some minor modifications, just some proper optimizations within the listing, we have now moved into the map pack. So we jumped up three positions. Now, with that being said, I want to walk you through what I call product and service stacking and what exactly is site mirroring. So let me go ahead and walk you through this now. So this is the actual business listing. And what I want to share with you first is going to be the product and service stack. So what I mean by this is we showcase the products. So portable storage, packing supplies, climate control, local moving, long distance moves. When we come over here to services, we want to go ahead and go right through packing supplies, climate control, portable storage units, long distance moving, and local moving. As you can see, we have done a product and service stack mirroring the same exact thing and of course mirroring it over to the website. Now, what is this doing? We are not only adding more relevance to the listing, but we're basically reinforcing that these are our products, these are our services, our service are our products, our products are our services, and it's matching and mirroring directly over to our listing. Now, I want to take you out of the Google My Business SEO mindset, and I want you to think about regular on-page SEO. Now, when we're looking at a title tag in an H1, H1 being the title of the document that we're going to show users. The title, obviously the user is going to see it, but the title tag is for Google. H1 is for the user. Now, Google generally wants us to show the user exactly what we're showing them. They mirror each other generally, or there might be a slight variation. Now, this is absolutely the same way to look at our Google My Business listing. Why would we ever want to showcase to Google and to users on GMB different than our website? So let me walk you through the mirroring process and what do I mean by this? So I went ahead and I showed you that we're mirroring our products. We made our separate categories, right? These are all separate categories and they're listing and mirroring over to our site and with our services, again with our services. All right. Now, of course, these particular elements are listed directly on the listing when you look for it. Now, let me show you what I mean by mirroring to the website. If we take a look at our drop down menu or our main website, okay, this is the website, the business website that we are talking about today. So if we take a look at our primary, these are our web pages or our primary category pages, top level pages. And what I want to share with you is this. So if we take a look here, portable storage moving container, portable storage containers, okay? Portable storage moving containers. I didn't put moving in there. I didn't want to stuff it in, but again, it's the same thing. When we take a look at packing supplies for moving, we take a look in here, packing supplies for moving. When we take a look right here, we have, what do we have here? Climate controlled storage units. Let's take a look at our drop down menu. Uh, climate controlled storage units, local moving, local moving, right? Uh, should be a local moving on here. Uh, local moving. When we take a look at long distance, we have long distance moves, long distance moves, local moving. Now these are identical for services. And this right here is what I am going to am sharing with you today. All right. So basically this is going to wrap up the product and service stack. This is going to be identically mirrored over to the website in the categories. What my website is showing to users is exactly what I'm showing to users over on Google, my business. Now we know Google is doing this by simply doing a search. 
again, Google is always showing us the all of the secrets right in front of us. So let me share with you how I know that this matters and why this works. So if we take a look at this, let's just look for our business now, Horizon Movers Quad Cities. Okay, let's just take a look here. And what I want to, what I want to share with you is this. If we come over here to Maps, we're going to go in here to Maps. All right, one second here. Let me just let me just go. How about this? Watch Movers Quad City. Okay, watch this. Just give me one moment here. Okay, now let's take a look at this particular listing. No, it's not my listing. But take a look here. Their website mentions Quad City Movers. So they're saying that, hey, this is relevant to your search. They're making it bold, much like when they bold up words inside of the listings on the SERP. It's the same exact thing. They, they're they saying, hey, this is so relevant because their website mentions it. So if we know that they're going over there and looking so much so that they're saying, hey, this is relevant. Look, their website says it. It's the same exact thing. Thing. This is what I want to point out. We know that they want this to correlate. We know that they we they want it to mirror. It should be the same thing. The services and products that I'm offering here are mirroring to the website. And that is the Google My Business SEO tips that I wanted to share with you today. This is product and service stacking and site mirroring. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any further questions related to Google My Business, Google My Business SEO, or if you just need some other SEO tips, always feel free. Go ahead and ask in the comments below and I most certainly look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business, Google My Business SEO Tips video. Have a wonderful day.